I am still in Ho Chi Minh City and let's start the day with getting some breakfast here right on the streets. There are some street food stalls here and for the past days I've been getting my breakfast here every morning. Hello. Hello. Can I get another juice? Okay. Yeah, one please. Yeah, so I'm starting my day usually with a uh, fresh, fresh juice here. That is something that I absolutely love about Vietnam already, that you can get fresh fruits and fruit shakes, juices everywhere on the streets. And then what he does is uh, he just squeezes the juice freshly out of the fruits here. Oh, it's very good. <laughs> I like it a lot. And then you can add some sugar as well if you like to. So he has sugar here. This is sugar, right? Sugar? Uh, but I don't want no, no sugar. <laughs> yeah, you can add sugar here. But uh, of course, I want to have just uh, the pure juice, no sugar. Uh, so he removes a little bit from the from the fruit. Uh, how do you call it in English? The meat, the meat of the fruit. And then he adds some uh, some ice cubes as well over here. And just like that, you have a really healthy juice, fresh orange juice right in the morning. Very good. Okay, and then the price is, so for the big cup, I'm paying 25,000 dong, which is uh, just over one US dollar, like one dollar and 10 cents or something like that. But you can also get the smaller cups here and I'm not sure what all the other types here are. Maybe some other fruits or maybe some, some iced tea, something like that. Ah, 25, right? Thank you. Man. Yes, okay, thank you, come in. Okay, so just like that, we're having a fresh orange juice and then that's not going to be my, uh, my full meal. I'm always getting one of these sandwiches here as well. Hello, good morning. Uh, one please again, one. With egg, yeah, egg, yeah. Everything, everything no, but okay. but no chili. No chili. No chili. Yes, yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll check it no out. She 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 has a pork meat here. Yeah. And then I'm not sure what this over there yes, is. Yes. I think this is some sausage. What is this pork? Yes. This is pork as well. Yes, yes, yes. Same, same. Yeah. yeah okay, okay. <laughs> and then she makes the sandwich. It's very. Uh, you're going to see it when I when I bite into it. It's very crispy and fluffy. A super nice sandwich. And you can get these sandwiches also everywhere in Vietnam. It's uh, called Ban Mi, typical Vietnamese sandwich, which is a uh, leftover from when the French were here. They brought the baguettes into Vietnam, and now obviously the French are gone. The time when the French were ruling in Vietnam is uh, a long time ago, but still these baguettes are leftovers from that time. So then she makes these sandwiches right here. She also uh, does a fried egg right here. Put some greens inside. And then I can uh, sit right here on these typical small chairs in Vietnam. Check it out. <laughs> Try the juice first. Ah, oh yeah, what better than a fresh orange juice in the morning? Gives you some vitamins, some proper nutrition for the day. Mm. Oh, very good. Very good. Let's see what she's doing with the baguettes. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Ah. So, cooking an egg here. Throwing it right away here. I think she sells as much as uh, she has here, like, so if it's finished, then she's uh, done for the day, basically. Actually, I can see here, like, uh, my hotel, where I'm currently staying, is right here. Actually, I can show you the hotel in a, in a minute after the breakfast. Actually, I have to leave this hotel today, but I will... Uh, I will tell you more details about that after the breakfast. So actually I can see her operating from uh, my window. One of the windows there is my room. And I can see that uh, as soon as she's finished with, uh, with the baguettes, I think she calls it a day. So she's working until everything is finished. So you have to be early if you want to get one. Ah, yeah, 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 please. Some vegetables, some greens. Ah, yeah. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, these greens, they add a very fresh kick to it, which is really nice. So you have a combination of, uh, of meat, of the egg. She adds, no, no chili. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please, no chili. My stomach is not good with handling chili these days. Uh, so she adds a little bit of sauce. I'm not sure what sauce this is. Maybe a uh, soy sauce. Yeah, and then she puts it in a paper bag. And just like that. Ah, no, no plastic. I, I will eat here. Ah, no, no, no. Just like this. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Come on. Okay, and just like that, we have a fresh baguette here. Um, which cost, uh, I'm paying here 30,000 dong. So that's uh, like one dollar, I don't know, one dollar twenty. The price will be somewhere here. So just like that, for in total of so 25 over there, so 55,000 dong in total. We have a good breakfast with a very big orange juice and this delicious baguette. People are curious what I'm doing here with my camera. This is not really a tourist area here, I think. So, have a look at this. So doesn't this look really good? Proper baguette. And let's see if you can hear the, the sound when I when I bite into it. Very crunchy. Perfect baguette, I would say. And then you have all these different flavors inside. Sausage, the pork meat, the egg, the greens. This is already one of my favorite foods here in uh, in Vietnam, these baguettes. You can literally find them everywhere. Always these little street food carts, they are selling them. There are also some proper restaurants that are selling them, of course, a little bit more expensive. There's so much inside. It's super flavorful, very delicious. Okay. Uh, 50,000. Okay. Come in. Ah, today I leave. Yes. No, tomorrow. No, tomorrow. I go another hotel. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where are you from? Germany. Germany. Germany, yeah. No, no, no. I go to uh, Ho Chi Minh, but another hotel. Ah. My hotel now here, ah. but Where's change the hotel the over there. But this one was very good. Oh, okay. Very good, delicious. Thank you. See you again. <laughs> okay, bye, bye bye. Come in, come in. Oh yeah, she was always happy to see me here every morning. Yeah, for the past days, I always had my breakfast here uh, with this lovely lady. Mm. Okay, so uh, let me quickly tell you my current hotel situation. So what I usually do is I only book hotels for a few days. So usually two or three days, and then uh, if I like it. I'm going to extend the stays. And this has never been a problem uh, in the past years because the hotels were never fully booked out. But now it's starting to happen that sometimes the hotels get fully booked out. So I spent here now four nights and I like the place. I would like to extend my stay. But I can't because it is fully booked out today. So I have to leave to another hotel. Um, so this is actually, it's not a proper hotel, it's a co-working space. They also have some working areas over there on the other floor. But then they also have some uh, some rooms here. So I have a room right here, which I can show you now. Okay, so welcome to my hotel room for the past days. This has been my home. So we have the bathroom right here. And then, uh, yeah, this is the... The bigger room, they also have a little bit smaller rooms, but uh, yeah, I like uh, my rooms to be spacious, so it feels a little bit more like home and not like a tiny hotel room. And yeah, right here, you can see that's where we just been to have the breakfast, the stalls down there. And then, yeah, there's a little seating area here. Then the bed right here, a huge TV as well, which 
I never used. I never watched TVs in hotel rooms. Uh, and then, yeah, a little working area here, which is nice. So overall, I have been very happy here. And yeah, I would stay longer if the hotel wouldn't be booked out. There's also a pool and the gym down there. So everything I need, basically. The price here is uh, around 45 US dollar per night. It's a little bit outside the city center, but the center can be reached within a five minute motorbike taxi ride. The name of the place here is Hello World Saigon. But yeah, let's uh, change to another hotel more to the city center. All right, so where is my Grab taxi? Uh, not here. <laughs> the driver canceled. Oh, he was already here. I checked uh, the app like literally 20 seconds ago and he was here already. Looks like he canceled for some reason. Okay. Oh, this is the first time that a Grab driver canceled on me in Vietnam. But okay, I have another one right away and he's just around the corner. Yeah, to be honest, it has been very convenient so far to get Grab taxis. I mainly use motorbike taxis and so far I always got a taxi, got a ride right away. So very uh, convenient here in Ho Chi Minh City. And you can see the stall of the lady over there is already closed. So she already finished selling all her sandwiches. That means she can go home. Oh, what is the car doing? I oh, probably is turning around over there. Ah. Actually, you know what? I am kind of happy that I am forced to uh, change to another hotel today because, yeah, I am new in the city. I want to see different parts of the city. So I'm moving to uh, another area now. So I'm kind of happy as well that, uh, yeah, I'm almost forced to change to a new place so that I can see another part of the town. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. 17 minutes. Okay. Yeah, 17 minute ride through the city. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye. Oh, that's all. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, we have arrived. Lotus Saigon Hotel. And yeah, in case you're wondering, the price of the taxi ride almost 20 minutes through the city was 90,000 dong. And yeah, let me handle the check-in and then I will show you the, the hotel as well. Thank you very much. Okay, so room number 403. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm paying a little bit less here. I think it's like 40 US dollar here per night. And wow, the first impression. Oh. Let me put the bag here. Okay, so, all right, let me quickly tour the room for you before we then head out to explore the new neighborhood. Um, first of all, we need some light here. Ah, perfect. Ah, okay, so this is the bathroom here with the shower like this, okay. Yeah, usually if the hotel is a little bit older, you will find it a lot that there's not a shower, there's a a bathtub with a shower inside. That's usually the case in many older hotels. The same in, in Thailand, for example. But uh, yeah, we have a big spacious room here. I like it that there's a lot of light coming inside. I like uh, to have bright hotel rooms. So with a lot of natural light, I really like that. Oh, huge bed here. Let me quickly test it. Oh, a little bit hard. Oh no, here's actually oh, there's a hard part in the middle. Maybe it's, yeah, it's probably two beds put together. Oh, 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 actually, this is very soft. Oh, I like it. Uh, air condition, of course. Let's quickly check out the balcony. Ah, nice to have a balcony sometimes. Ah, oh, okay, so city view. Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, I'm actually very excited. A new area of the town. Can't wait to uh, explore a little bit around here. And uh, there's also a pool on the rooftop, uh, as well as a little gym attached. Uh, I started to uh, to get a workout routine again. I'm usually going to the gym every two days and every other two days I'm going swimming. So sport every day at the moment, which is great. I feel very good, very healthy. 
But yeah, one thing I notice here as well, and I noticed that in most of the hotels I stay at, is that the curtains are not totally blocking out all the light. That means in the night there's still light shining in. And I am someone, I am a light sleeper. So when there's light coming in, then that can interrupt my sleep or make my sleeping quality less. And therefore I am still very happy that I am having my Manta sleeping mask. I've been using this sleeping mask for a few months now, almost every single night. I absolutely love it. The mask is very easy and comfortable to wear. There is no pressure on the eyes. And this mask does totally block out any light. The mask also comes with some earplugs so you cannot only block out all the light you can also block out all the noises and I already hear that uh, the busy road over there will make some noises in the night so I'm happy that I have my earplugs in combination with the sleeping mask I think I will get a good sleep here it's also great if you want to get a quick nap in in like buses or trains or airplanes while you're traveling and yeah I've been using this mask from a company called Manta Sleep they offer several different types of sleeping masks which you can all find on their website and if you would like to try out Manta Sleep as well you can click the link that I will provide in the pinned comment or in the description and if you enter the promo code can you can get 10% off and they also have a 60 day money back guarantee so you can test out the mask if you don't like it send it back and you will get a refund click the link down below thanks to Manta Sleep for sponsoring today's video and now let's explore my new neighborhood ah there's also a mini bar here and actually i think drinking a cold beer on the balcony here now is actually yeah something nice uh yeah we have also a kettle right here tea and coffee ah, let's uh, enjoy this beer here Okay, cheers to Vietnam. Cheers to all of you watching. Ah, tiger beer, I think. This is actually my first time trying tiger beer. Not bad. But yeah, let's uh, hit the road and explore this new neighborhood. Okay, so I have left the hotel. Just uh, wandering around now getting to know the, the new neighborhood that I'm staying in now. This is an interesting road here actually because we don't have a proper sidewalk to walk so I'm basically walking on the streets and as you can see the roads in Vietnam can be a little bit busy. Also yeah so far my impression is um, it doesn't really feel like a big Asian beggar city and maybe I'm in the wrong parts of the town or the right ones if you don't like this feeling of being in a big city but it is or well, let's say it like this i would have expected it to be more chaotic you know like when you think about ho chi minh city and saigon you usually think of mega chaos on the streets on the roads and so far i haven't seen that by the way in case you're familiar with the city this is uh, district number three no there's water coming from the from the roofs here Oh, getting some water in your face here. <laughs> but yeah, I am in district number three now, which is on the edge to, uh, or close to the edge to district number one, which is, um, yeah, the, the city center, as far as I know. Yeah, walking here. Uh, you need to be careful. Always uh, have your, your brain on. Focus uh, your eyes on the road. Otherwise, it's easy to... Uh, to get overrun by some scooters here. Okay. Yeah, but interesting just to uh, have a walk around, see the atmosphere. Let's see if I can. Uh, yeah, zebra crossings are just a decoration here in Vietnam. <laughs> oh, mostly in uh, almost in every Asian country I've been to so far, these are just decoration. So as a German, I have to get used to that, but no problem. Okay, I'm trying to find this restaurant here. According to Google Maps, it should be somewhere here. This was recommended to me as well. Excuse me. Hello. Do you know this restaurant? I'm looking for this restaurant. You don't know? Should be somewhere here. Here? Ah. Ah, here. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Okay. 
All right, it looks like it's over there. Uh, okay, crossing the road. Um, is it this one? Oh, I think it's this one. Plus the food I would like to try is actually this one here, which is like little uh, meat skewers wrapped in some leaves, I think. This one here. That is something that I've never tried before. Hello. I would like to try these ones. I heard they are very good here. So, uh, is this pork or beef? Okay, can I get this and this? I want both. One this and one this. Yeah. How many pieces is one order? How much is one pack? How many pieces usually? Uh, this is six. Six? Uh, this is five. This is five. Okay, six here. And then five? Yeah? Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this place was also recommended to me. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, okay. Oh, so I'm getting vegetables on the side, I guess. Uh, yeah, obviously it's going to be another interesting experience. I have no idea how to eat this. I'm having, I have to learn how to eat the local meals. But uh, that's what I'm excited about, right? I want to a restaurant like this. Uh, quite authentic. And I don't think I'm in a very touristy area. I haven't seen another restaurant around here yet. So let's see what I will get. So yeah, I think it's going to uh, look like this. So a mix uh, plate mm -hmm. with some greens and some dipping sauce on the side. A little bit like, like satay noodles. If you, if you know satay from countries like Malaysia, for example. Um, maybe I can get something interesting to drink as well. Um, uh, what is this? Perculia foetida gum. Do I get something like this? Yeah. Like this? Mix? Yeah. yeah? This one. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, drinking? Uh, you have drinks here, right? What is what is this here? Uh, well, what is this? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, she doesn't seem to uh, to understand me, but that's alright. Uh, so I'm just going to order it and see what I will get. So I asked for Sterculia. Fuitida gum. Not sure what it is. Actually, I'm cute. Maybe let me let me know this. <laughs> uh, so I don't want. Is it more fun if I drink it without knowing it? Yeah. I will first drink it and then I will Google it. Maybe I can I can uh, taste it. This one? Okay. Okay. Ah, she just told me that the drink I ordered is uh, not available. So I'm ordering Chung Duong Sasi. Whatever that is. Oh. oh, this is like a huge portion of greens here. Am I supposed to eat all of this? Mm. And I think this is some, uh, oh, these are some noodles here. And this is probably some thin rice something. Oh, okay. This is going to be interesting. But the, the most exciting part is going to be the, the meat, which is coming uh, right away as well. Oh, I'm getting a drink or oh, something sweet, I think. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, we have some uh, some children riding a bottle on the on the can. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's going to be a sweet soda drink. That's going to be my guess. Oh, interesting. Um, it smells like I don't know the English word, Lakritze in German. Um, tastes like lakritze. I don't know what's lakritze in English. Licorice. 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 That's uh, what it tastes like. Okay, got the new English word today. Tasting a new drink. Licorice. Okay. Oh. Okay, we have some dipping sauce here, which uh, doesn't look spicy. Yes, so far. I think the food in Vietnam, in Vietnam is not really spicy, which is uh, uh, good for my stomach. Ah. 
Ah, I think she's uh, putting it on the grill here. Ah. That looks really good. Okay, so they get uh, prepared probably in the morning and then they heat it up on the grill here. And then, yeah, we have to find out how to eat this. What I would imagine is that you roll it into these little things here together with some greens and maybe some noodles. And some, uh, some peanuts on top as well. Oh, that looks really good actually. So inside here is um, yeah, either beef or pork, as far as I, uh, I know. Well, I don't really know this dish, but uh, if it's to be honest, just my guess. And how it looks like, I would uh, guess, maybe the light is better from there. So I guess this is going to be um, yeah, beef. Beef rolled in, I don't know, I don't think it's seaweed. It looks a little bit like seaweed, but I don't really think it is seaweed. Okay, and the next thing is coming. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Come on. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five pieces of these. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of these. We have a dipping sauce here. We have, um, yeah, whatever this is. We have some noodles here, a lot of greens, and some extras on the side, which I also not sure what it is. Interesting. Okay. Excuse me. Can you show me how to eat this? You you roll it in here. Yeah, I have no idea how to eat this. How do you eat this with the hands? You eat with the hands, and then you use this and. Ah. That is my, my guess that uh, you roll it together with some greens in these, uh, yeah, whatever this is. I think it's like rice, rice paper. Oh, she can help me, okay. Ah, okay, okay. So you make uh, like, uh, like a wrap. Like uh, create your own little wrap here, okay. Well, it's my first time eating this, so I don't know. <laughs> Ashes, so he's mixing all kinds of different uh, leaves now together, okay. So it smells like mint here, so uh, one of these leaves is definitely mint. And then she's adding some of these here, okay. This is a noodles. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is that some noodles? Oh yeah, the noodles are cold, okay. And then she adds one of these. Ah, okay. And then you have to roll it. Oh, thank you so much. Come on. Thank you. Okay, and then you have a rolled, almost like a, like a spring roll. Ah. Okay, the next one I have to try uh, on my own, of course. Ah, you have some chili. Ah, and then you, ah, yeah. You can uh, dip it in here, okay. Let's dip it in here. Mm. Wow. Mm. This is very, very delicious. And it's very fresh. There's a, a very big minty kick to it. So some of the leaves are definitely mint, which is great. The sauce is um, yeah, not spicy at all. Mm. I think the sauce is with fish. There's a little fish flavor to it. And I don't think that any of these ingredients are, are fishy. So I think that the fish taste is coming from the sauce. Mm. I also really like the, the meat inside. You can clearly taste the meat. Although the meat is like uh, only a small piece wrapped uh, between all these greens. Mm. Oh, I'm losing some noodles. Mm. 
Okay, that was really, really good. Oh, I lost one of the beaters here. Mm, wow. What I really like about Vietnam so far, it's relatively easy to eat healthy. So um, I'm still, I'm currently in the process of yeah, trying to to have an eye on my on my uh, nutrition, on my diet, trying to lose a bit of weight, going to the gym, eating healthy. And Vietnam makes it really easy for me to uh, eat healthy. I mean, look at this. We have all the, the the greens here, just some some plain noodles, some vegetables, meat. Nothing here is fried in oil. Nothing is uh, really fat. Okay, let me try to do it on my own now. So we're starting with this one here, and then we are collecting some some leaves here. So the whole uh, process of preparing the food is. Uh, Part of the, the food experience here, I guess. Oh, I think this is the mint, yeah. Mm, really nice. So we're having some of these, then uh, adding some noodles here. And yeah, these are cold noodles. Okay. Actually not bad. Cucumber, I guess. Okay, and then I'm going to add one of these here now. So these. And we have to roll it. Okay, my first self rolled whatever the name of this food is. <laughs> very good. Actually, the texture here is almost like uh, like plastic, so it's very uh, weird texture actually. And we're dipping it into the sauce here. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, you have to get used to um, eating this. This is, um, yeah, it's, it's almost feels like eating plastic. So you have to really um, chew it hard, chew it a lot. Very chewy. But uh, yeah, the combination of everything together is really great. Okay, so I finished. Uh, obviously, not all of the greens. I think you're not supposed to finish all of this, but of course, all of the meat. And the meat was very delicious. And I was just curious what was. The green thing that was wrapped around uh, the beef here. This was beef and uh, this was pork, uh, if I'm not wrong. And it's lolot leaves, which to be honest I never heard of before. It's this plant and that was the, the green wrapping around uh, the beef here called lolot leaves, which is often confused with beetle leaves. Um, and yeah, apparently it's uh, used in many Southeast Asian cuisines. Oh, okay, that was very, very good. So very um, delicious and I think also healthy meal. And um, obviously, okay, the drink wasn't uh, that healthy now because it's probably full with sugar. But uh, yeah, I'm always keen to try new things. But this meal was very good. Let's see how much uh, all of this is going to cost. 177. Uh, you can change this. Okay, thank you. That was really good. Come on. Thank you very much. Okay. Ah, so here, yeah, look at how many of these skewers they have here. And then he's making some uh, fresh on the grill here again. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Ah, okay. Oh, I actually get a little bit cloudy here now. Check it out. The first time I see uh, dark clouds here. Okay, actually I feel like, um, so this was yeah, a proper meal, but it was uh, very light. I don't feel like very filled up, you know, like sometimes when you eat too much, uh, you can get a food coma, you know what I mean? And I totally don't have this feeling right now, which is awesome. So actually, maybe we can find something else. Something interesting, maybe a little uh, snack. Oh, we have egg tarts here as well. Oh, I really like these. Right, let's see if I can find something else. Ban Kem Bat looks like a, like a little cake mix. Mm. Let's see what else. Oh, I'm, I'm really too, uh, too tall for the stalls here in Asia. <laughs> um, okay, we have some, uh, some muffins here, some donuts. Not really typical Vietnamese, I would say. Maybe I can get one of these egg tarts here. I would like one of these here. 
One thing. Yeah. I think it's a uh, ten thousand here. Ten, ten thousand. Uh, uh, okay, hectares, which are not really uh, Vietnamese. Um, I think originally they are from, uh, from Portugal. Hmm. Still warm. Very good. I like it when it's still warm. Just be made. If you don't know egg tarts, you have to give it a try. You can find them all over Southeast Asia. I also ate them a lot in the Philippines, for example. Hello. Hello. Oh, people always are happy and smiling here. Hello. Hello. I think you can get uh, fruit juices here as well. Mm. Okay. Hello. Uh, you have uh, you make fresh fruit juice here? Juices? Uh, you can mix together. Apple and uh, this orange. You can mix. And banana. Banana. Yeah. Mix everything together. Okay. Go. Banana. <laughs> I'm not sure, okay. <laughs> Mixed together. Yeah, yeah. Banana. Banana. Ah, I think there's she we cannot mix together. Two. Okay, then apple and orange. One. Together? Uh, uh, 25. Okay. Okay. And no sugar? No sugar. No sugar. No milk. And milk, milk. yeah. No. Milk. Milk. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe just milk go well together with apple and orange. Okay. Oh, we're gonna find out. Okay. And let's see. I think I also have a sugar cane here, uh, which is also very delicious. Sugar cane. Sugar cane, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can. Um. No, no, no. Just, just the juice. Just the juice. Yeah, sugar cane obviously is also very delicious. You can squeeze it to this machine here, and then you get uh, yeah very sweet uh, juice with natural sugar. Mm. Yeah, I think I already said that uh, today uh, in the morning that I love these little uh, food shops. This is now the proof. I said in the morning you can find them everywhere, and yeah, right here is another one. And I'm sure you can find more on this busy road here. Let's see what we will get here. Uh, yeah, she puts it right here. Carrot. It's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just putting the apples in here, one after the other. Banana. Banana? Banana. Can go together? Yeah. Banana. Ah, but uh, only, only apple and... Ah, okay. I think she was uh, offering me another, uh, a second, uh, uh, a second uh, juice. Oh, I get the big one now. Okay. No sugar. No sugar. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Come on. Thank you very much. Okay. I think I paid thirty-five now. Um, but that's okay. So it's ten thousand more expensive than the one I had in the morning but the one in the morning was only orange and this is orange and apple so yeah this is my second juice like this already today you saw the first one in the morning 